everybody. Um, wanted to check in, let you know about um, day four. So day four was um, a hard day because obviously day three I had the huge cheat. So um, it was kind of all over the place. And I basically stuck to it, but I did have some protein here and there, some actual protein. So, um, so I kind of figured out what was going on. I got so pissed at myself, you know, that I was just ready to cry that afternoon that I couldn't just get it together and get back on this thing like I was the first two days. And I started just talking to my support group, you know, being like, this is what's going on. I've got to come up with a plan. I need help. And so we started, you know, just talking about my day. And I realized that. So basically, I freaked myself out so bad about what I did Wednesday going to Golden Corral that a lot of the day I sat looking up YouTube videos and just googling what happens if I cheated because I started getting really worried about you know would the doctor be able to tell three days in that I cheated and now even four days in you know I had a little bit of protein and so I started like finding all these videos on YouTube of people who had cheated and were you know like oh yeah I cheated and it was fine um, or some that cheated and they even felt bad about it but it was just either way and by seeing that other people went through it, somehow the weirdness in my head just like turned into, well, you can do it too. Just go cheat and you'll be fine. And I was just so mad at myself <laughs> that, um, that I even let myself do that. So I decided to kind of play mind tricks on myself and to start googling which I did all last night all this stuff about if you don't stick to your diet you know that you cannot like the doctor can get in there and you won't have your surgery if your liver's not shrunk and the reason that that really resonated with me is because I already have an enlarged liver I've been told that before because it's fatty from all my weight gain you know they had check that out when I got my gallbladder removed a few years ago so I was like holy crap so it's already enlarged and if I don't shrink it it's gonna be large and they're not gonna do my surgery and then I just started thinking about losing everything that I had built up for and I just kept making myself read all this stuff that was posted by you know accredited people or just forums about how important it was um, you know, and how people had been turned away because either their blood work showed, you know, too much of a sugar spike or something or that their liver hadn't shrunk enough. And I just really got freaked out about that and was like, holy crap, I have got to get my butt in gear. So, um, I Googled an actual like meal plan and I'll put the, do I have a link or just a picture? Anyways, I'll put it down below. So that you guys can see it and basically it has you doing something once an hour so it really keeps you busy and I'm doing that and just making making sure that I keep myself really busy because I work from home and so that's been a trigger for me so I'm actually going to you know um, the shop that my fiance and I own and just trying to do some things outside the home and making sure that I stick to that schedule and um, but I mean I'm I'm scared to death to to cheat now so I think I I think I really helped myself with that so anyways that was day four and I was just in a really weird headspace so I didn't record about it yesterday but I just wanted to you know update you guys and let you know that that's where I'm at so um, I'll be letting you know how day five is going and um, we're just gonna keep going guys so if you're sticking in with me this far, I really appreciate it. And more than that, I hope it just does something for you guys. It's I'm really doing this for other people, not just for myself. So, um, you know, hope it does something for somebody somewhere. And if you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. It helps other people be able to see it. And I'll talk to you guys on the next one, okay? Thanks.
Thank you.